As we go on, we remember all the times we spent together. What's going on, guys? That was terrible. My voice sucks. Um, anyway, um, the reason why I'm singing that song is because KTM is being picked up today by this dude and he's buying it, so I'm kind of excited. Um, I mean, I had to go down on the price. I don't know why, you know, I think it was because of COVID. No one has any money, but a lot of people hit me up about this bike and they wanted to buy it. So I found the best buyer and he's going to come down here and get it. So I'm waiting on him. And then after that, after we sell the bike, um, I'm going to head to Havoc to go pick up my injectors for the Evo. And also I have some parts coming in the wheel speed sensor. And uh, I have the uh, wideband uh, sensor that came in actually yesterday. It's right here. Boom, wide band. So I'm gonna go put that stuff in so we can read our AFRs, and this is dirty. So we read the AFRs and uh, we can get those stupid uh, ABS codes off and all wheel drive control off. And then we can head to HP Logic for tuning. So say goodbye to the KTM, hopefully if he comes. And if he doesn't, I still got it. And uh, let's make sure the Evo um, is ready for tuning, I guess, right? All right, just made it to Havoc, picked up the injectors. Um, they ran the test, whatever, uh, da -da, before, and then, well, yeah, this is the before, okay? These are 1,000 cc injectors. Um, they, weren't hitting, they weren't hitting 1,000, only one of them did. They did pretty good, but let me flip this over. See, Havoc gives you a nice little layout of how the injectors did before you brought them in and then after they cleaned them and everything. So before, you can see only one of them hit 1,000. The one was 975, 973, and 960. So th they passed, but they weren't flowing at what they're supposed to. As you guys can see, after cleaning the first one, went from one, oh, 1,022 to 1,024, and then 975 to 991, and then 1,007 and 1,010. So now they're fucking mint. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put these back in. Have, hopefully that solves the little lag problem I had. Uh, we also still need a fine tune, so it could be just the tune, but I wanted to make sure these were clean because these sat for six months. So now we're gonna head back home, put these in, and then we have some other stuff to install and other stuff that arrived. So let's go back home. All right, made it back home. Um, Basically, just been having this chill here. Yeah. Get this out of here. Let's go ahead and put these injectors and start it up. Make sure it's running right, and then go ahead and pull in the garage. We're gonna go put those other things back on the AFR wideband sensor and the wheel speed sensors. All right, injectors are in. Went in pretty nicely. We'll go ahead and start this baby. Prime it a little bit. There we go. All right. Ugh, 
cars in the garage. Um, so we got some packages. You guys already know this one. This is the wide band for the AEM. Um, got this off Amazon. And it's just a oh, lifetime warranty. Oh shit. Nice. This thing's like 40 bucks. Uh, I think it's the 30 114. Right. I'm not sure. We're good. Right there. I got some other stuff. This and this. The speed sensors, both sides. And I also got this Rally Art uh, oil cap. I'll tell you why I got this and, and why I'm getting rid of the breather. But for the driver's side, the passenger side front, it's going to be part number ALS1784. Got this off Amazon as well. Uh, 18 bucks from China, you know, no big deal. The ones from the factory ones, are fucking two hundred and eighty dollars, so they can they can go sit on a fat one. I ain't doing that. Um, so the speed sensor, as you guys can see, goes in right through here. Uh, let me put the flash on. There, speed sensor. Sorry, right here. It goes all the way up. Goes around this little thing. This little plastic thing, and it goes right into there. Boom. Okay, right through here, and then it comes up over here. Right around here to this clip, right. Oh, where is it? Right there. I don't want the blue on it. See it? Right there. You basically just unplug it, feed the line through, put it back in the wheel hub, make sure it's clean, tighten it down, and that's it. So let's get to it. That, it's out. Pretty simple. Pull it off with a screwdriver, a little grommet, and then you have a 12 millimeter back there. You got the 10 right here, and then you just got to take it off that plastic thing right there, unplug it from the top, it all comes out, and you're going to put the, the new one in the same way. So let's go ahead and do that. But pretty, went in pretty well. Uh, the only thing you have to alter is, see this line right here? It comes with like a black cover on it. You just got to cut it so it fits in there a little more, so you have more room. But other than that, we're all good to go, so... Hopefully start it up, let it run for a little bit, and then hopefully uh, picks up well, when, I, when I pull out of here after I put the AFR gauge back on, well, sensor, pull out of here, hopefully those ABS lights go off. If it doesn't, then we know it's the transfer case needs to be bled because the clock spring I know is not broken. So let's go ahead and put the sensor on. All right, wide band sensor is installed, zip tied, all nice and good. Now the last thing is going to be the oil cap. The reason why I am upgrading or getting rid of this oil cap is because on the Evo 10, the valve cover is pressurized. And if you have a filter here, you're relieving the pressure from here, which makes all this shit happen. All this dirty shit, all these leaks. This also thing leaks as well. There's no need of this when I have my Nesquik catch cam, which has a filter on it. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to sell this. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that Rally Art on, uh, Rally Art One on. So let's get rid of this. Pretty so si pretty simple. 10 millimeter bolt. Twist it off, and then take pliers, pull that off, and then put the other one on. Well, there you have it, boys. Everything's installed. Time to start it. See if the AFRs work. See if the ABS light is off. And let's see if this leaks. I don't think it will. I think it looks pretty cool. Nice and tight. Let's do it. Moment of truth. is fuel bank too lean so it's gonna be a uh, tuning issue 
so I'm gonna have to get it uh, get it fine tuned tomorrow. Look at this, the fucking AFRs are all over the fucking place. So, well, that's good. ABS is fixed. What's going on guys? It's a new day. Uh, I'm gonna be taking Evo to HP Logic to get it tuned. Uh, not dyno tuned yet, just fine tuned. The AFRs are all over the place. Uh, I used to go in there and fix that, so the drivability would be great. Um, then, a few hundred miles later, I'll be draining the oil, then dyno tuning. So, let's head to HP Logic, figure out this AFR situation. So as you guys can see, as you guys can see, uh, AFRs are fixed. Uh, they're not perfect yet. We haven't. We're not really doing the fine tuning yet. We're just tuning it for a daily driving, not hitting boost to break in the motor. Uh, once we get on the dyno, then we'll we'll fine tune it, make sure everything's running great. Uh, the problem was the O2 sensor. Uh, so I had to disconnect it, which it's actually on the inside of this floorboard, right up against the the, the column. I just disconnected it. That's why the check engine light's on. And uh, he went in there and adjusted some fuel. Uh, I'm gonna get a new O2 sensor to just to get rid of the check engine light. Um, but yeah, so car's running great. I dro drove it around for a little bit. So kind of kind of good, uh, kind of happy with it. Uh, motor sounds great. So it just feels it, feel, it just feels really good to be back in this car and it running good. So I can't wait for the dyno. Um, I'm kind of scared because can't wait for the dyno. It's just like once once he, he does that first pull, you're like, ah, did I tighten those bolts? Did I tighten those bolts right? Did I torque it down right? And if everything goes great, then we're good. So I'm gonna head home and then I go to the gym later. So I might end the video here. I don't know if there's another clip after this. Then I didn't 